we have done two parts, the, ob the nominative and the objective. Now, we go to the third and that is possessive case, ownership. You own something, you possess. You can say, I can say, this is my pen, Pauline's pen they will say. This is my book. So, possession, I am showing, I am telling, this is mine. So, we will look at the third case, okay, and that is the nom third in the possessive case. Now, how do you detect the possessive case? You will say any noun or pronoun that denotes any noun or pronoun, any noun or pronoun that denotes that denotes the possessor ownership, okay, the possessor or owner of anything, possessor or owner of anything I can say my pen, my book, my boat, okay. It's said to be, it's said to be in the possessive case. And this is the third and the last one, okay. It's said to be in the possessive case. And that's what we are going to look at now. We look at closely at the possessive case. I'll give you some sentences for you to look at. Okay. The dog, the dog bit the boy's leg, the boy's leg. Okay. Ram found Asha's pen. Then and lost her mother's ring and lost her mother's ring. Mother's ring. This is his pen. This is his pen. This is my book. My book. Okay. Now, let's look at how all this. You can say any noun or pronoun that denote the possessor, ownership, owner of anything is said to be in the possessive case. As I told you, this is my book, mine, I am on, this is Kala's pen, owner is Kala. This is, this book is Mala's, who is the possessor, owner, Mala. So, now look at this case, uh, uh, sentence, the dog bit the boy's leg, whose leg? The boy's leg, not my leg. The dog bit the boy's leg. Ram found Asha's pen and lost her mother's ring. So, ring was mother's, pen is Asha's, the leg that is bitten is the boy's. Here, this is his pen and this is my book. Then you can say, 
the book is Kalas. You can't say it's my book, it's Kalas book. Now, in all this case, who is the owning, whose leg, who is the owner of the leg? The boy. Who is the owner of the lost pen? Asha. Who is the owner of the ring? Mother. Then who is the owner of the pen? He. Who is the owner of the book? I. Then who, who owned this particular book? Kala. Now, owner, one who possesses. So we say, Asha's pen, mother's ring, his pen, my book, Kala. All these are in the possessive case. So now, we say, Asha's pen, boy's leg, mother's ring, his, say, his pen, my book, Kala's book, all these owned by somebody, possessed by someone. So we say that is in the possessive case. Supposing somebody finds a storybook of yours, you will say, that is my storybook. Supposing you say, Maria found a bag. Now, whose bag is that? Then you will say, that is my bag. Asha says, my bag, owner. Who does it belong to? So, in possessive case, the dog bites somebody's leg. Whose leg? The boy's leg. Dog bit boy's leg. So whose leg is that? Boy's leg. Whose pen did Ram found? find? Ram found Asha's pen. Belongs to Asha. Whose ring who did and lose? And lost mother's. It belongs to mother. Then whose pen is this? His pen is the owner. Whose book is this? Mine. This book is mine. And whose book is this? Kalas. The one who owns. The possessive case is very, very easy. We will do some more sentences to understand the possessive case better. Now I will give you how we form the possessive case. Okay? The different ways of forming. There are three different ways of Forming the possessive case. So, understanding of the formation of possessive case. That's what we are going to do. How to form the possessive case? How? How to form the possessive case? Okay? How? There are three different ways of forming. The first one, examine the nouns in the sentences that I will give you. The nouns in the possessive case, in three different cases, different. So now the first one I will give you now is, look at the noun. You are going to watch the nouns. Have a look at the nouns. See how the nouns are being formed. The girl's the girl's father. The girl's father is ill. Okay. Next we have the farmers. The farmer's cow was stolen. Look at the nouns in all these three sentences. The horse's leg. The horse's leg was broken.
Ram's gate was stolen. Peter's shoes were lost. Now look at the nouns here. We will look a close look at the nouns. What are the nouns here? We are looking at the noun girl, farmer, horse, ram, Peter. Look at the nouns in these five sentences. Okay. We are examining the nouns in the possessive case in these five sentences. Now, in the possessive case, the nouns in the possessive case are in the singular number. One girl, one farmer, one horse, one ram, one Peter. Now, so in these cases, the singular nouns are formed by adding an apostrophe and then uh, as follows. So that's how we form the first type of possessive case. We have singular, all the nouns are singular. We put an apostrophe and add an S in the case of forming this possessive case. So we have girl's father is ill, the farmer's cow was stolen, the horse's leg was broken, drum's gate was stolen, Peter's shoes were lost. So in the first way of forming the possessive for case in these five sentences, remember the nouns are in the singular form. We put an apostrophe and we add an S and thus we form the possessive case in the first case. Now we, I have two more for you. There are three different ways of forming possessive cases. So I said there are three ways of forming the possessive case. First, the, sing, the noun. Singular noun, you put an apostrophe followed by an S to form the possessive case. Now in the second part, now we are going to do the second one. Now let's see how we form the possessive case. In the second part, L again look at the how to form the possessive case and look at the nouns here. Okay, first one, many, look at the nouns, many girls, many girls, books, car lost. Okay, next we have all these, all these horses, all these horses, horses' tail, all these horses' tail are black, are black. Many girls' books, not one girl, many girls. Many horses' tails, they are all black. Next, the farmers, the farmers, the farmers' crops, crops failed this year. Now, in these sentences, look at again the nouns. Last, we did the singular noun. When it comes to a singular noun, you all what you do is put an apostrophe, put an S following the apostrophe. So, you will say, the girl's book were lost, Tom's shoes were lost, whatever. Singular noun, apostrophe followed by an S. And here you have 
when you say nouns you have plural nouns in this you have many girls so you have many girls in there are more than one noun it's plural so you write the apostrophe after the noun plural noun so you say many girls books are lost here all these horses look at the apostrophe all these horses tails are black or brown or whatever all the benches all the benches you put an apostrophe after the benches are broken the farmers the farmers all the farmers the farmers crops are crops fail this year so we are talking of many farmers plural noun many horses many girls many farmers all the children's bags were lost not one child all the children all the houses were robbed so when you say all the houses all the houses all the houses things were robbed things were stolen we are talking about many not one more than one then the apostrophe comes outside the word it comes outside that's what we are looking at in the first when you say possessive case singular this book is mine singular or you say this is kala's book kala singular so you put kala then you put an apostrophe then you put an s singular possession here the nouns are plural therefore you will write girls and the apostrophe is outside because all the girls books were lost when you say horses many horses the apostrophe is outside all the horses tails are black when you talk about farmer all the farmers many more than one farmers so the apostrophe comes outside all their crops are failed when you talk about houses all the houses in the street the houses and the apostrophe comes outside and all the things were robbed or theft whatever so in the second form first we said to form the possessive case singular this is peter's peter apostrophe and s peter's pen in this case it is plural girls many girls or all the girls is apostrophe comes outside plural noun so there are two ways of forming possessive case in the singular noun the apostrophe then the s is found in the plural noun noun you put s and the apostrophe comes after the noun so two is singular and plural possessive case now we go to the third we go to the third way of forming the possessive case okay first is the singular second is the plural and here you have the third one uh, we have sentences we have possessive case in the plural again but here this plural is different from what we did earlier first of all let's look at the sentences i have for you first one men's men's lives lives are full of misery i'll 
look at the sentence carefully. Children's children's lives are full of happiness. Women's lives, women's lives are full of cares. Parents failed in their duty and look at all the plural form here okay you can say teachers teachers places were empty We are looking at again the plural form. Look at the nouns again. Nouns in the, in this first case of forming possessive case, I said singular. Peter's car. Possession, singular, noun, apostrophe and followed by an S. Showing singular possession. In the second we found plural we say the girls. You will say many girls' books are lost. After the girls, you put an apostrophe and we form the possessive case. Now, in the third case, you have all plural. You have the men, the children, the women, the parents, the teachers, all are plural. And in this case, you don't say one man, many men here, yeah, many children, many women, many parents, many teachers. So, when there is many, the apostrophe after the plural word followed by an S. In plural, apostrophe comes after the men. You put the um, apostrophe followed by an S. Here you say men's lives, that means life of many women. Men's lives are full of misery. Children's, all the children's lives are full of joy, full of happiness. Women, every single woman, women's lives are full of cares. Parents, all the parents, parents failed in their duty. When they fail, then the children don't perform well. Teachers, places, wherever the teachers sit, Teachers' places were empty. That means no teacher came to school. So in the third possessive case, when it is plural, then you have the plural word followed by the apostrophe and the S. So there are three ways of forming possessive case. Remember to put the correct apostrophe. Peter's, this is, Peter's pen, singular. After Peter, you put an apostrophe as that is for the first one. If many, many girls lose their boxes, many girls, after the girls, you put the followed by the apostrophe. In this plural forms, like the men and children and women and parents and teachers, in these cases, you put the apostrophe after the plural followed by as. So, three ways of forming possessive case. That's what we've learned now.